Ben, you're fighting uh, Martin Pelagi for the WBO Intercontinental title. Now, he's fought 18 times. He's yep. only lost once, so he's got yep. a decent record. Yep. Have you watched him much? Do you, do you know much about him? Yeah, I've watched him a lot. Um, Printed videos, print videos online and stuff. So, yeah, I've watched a lot. Enough, enough to know how to beat him. Anything that you're wary of that he could bring uh, for the night? Very aggressive. Um, swings a lot. Um, so he comes out to, to obviously to win, to, to stop you, to knock you out. Um, so yeah, I'm, not, I'm on the game. I know, know what, to, what to do with him. Obviously you're confident going into this fight. Of what course. do you feel your qualities are that will overcome him on the night? Um, my work rate as well as, I mean his work rate's good as well. Um, my strength, my size um, and just my cleverness I think uh, will, will be the thing. The, the clever side of my boxing against his um, swinging and uh, being a little bit unclever. You um, are actually big for a featherweight. Yep. But you've campaigned at different weights. That's right. Yes. What I do have. you feel? Are you more comfortable at this weight, or? Yes, yeah, so I'm. I'm, I'm Obviously, more strength is something you're with. Yeah, definitely. Um, also, I mean, I was quite a big super featherweight actually, but. Um, and you I, won titles. And won titles. Okay. On, on, uh, yeah, I just I believe that I was only two pounds over the featherweight limit, and two pounds, absolutely nothing with when I've had this amount of time over the year campaigning at the the lighter weight. I just think that it's a great opportunity for me at, at this weight and I'm happy at both weights, you know, whatever opportunities come up, I'm happy to, to, to do so. You've had quite a quick turnaround for this fight. It's only, it was only a month since your last fight, wasn't it? That's right, yes. So do you feel, in a way, possibly fitness could be a, an advantage because you've been ticking along more or, or do you wish you had more break? Um, no, I like the idea, especially with my age as well, that to keep, um, keep myself active. Um, so if, if Fantastic that all year I have been active, which has kept me in the gym all year, and which is great. It's, I think the worst thing to be doing as you can, you know, sort of later on in your career is to be having big spells of time off and where you're eating, drinking, putting on weight. I've kept my weight down the whole year, and uh, I've been serious about everything I want to do this year. So it's been great. Am I right in saying you're 33? I am 23. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so without it being rude, obviously you're not sort of a spring chicken. No. Um, but do you, does that sort of Obviously, you, like you said you want to keep active. What do you feel? Um, my ambitions, um, I think to sit down with people like Mickey, um, Kaz, obviously my manager, um, Graham, my PR manager, and we'll talk about this one step at a time. Let's go and win this one first. Mm -hmm. Then after that, let's, uh, we'll talk about what's the options, what, we've, what we can go for, and where we can go from there. Um, nothing particularly in my mind as this second, just let's one step at a time. It's your first time fighting on London Live. What a great platform for London boxers. Brilliant. Great exposure for you. 100 percent. Yeah, I mean, it's, like I said, it's great exposure, and um, yeah, hopefully everyone can get behind me, sponsors, things like that, and and everyone to come come and watch. I would rather them buy the seat and come and come and watch, but yeah, great exposure for me as well. Mickey was telling me you've sold a lot of seats for this. Yeah, so I always you've got do. Good which following. Is nice. Yeah, it's good following, which is fantastic. Um, Crawley always get behind me. Radio as well, well out. How was it? Which you went great. on Crawley football pitch, didn't you? Yeah, I went on Crawley football pitch at the weekend, which is which is fantastic. And Crawley won, so in second in the league late in the morning, which is you're lucky omen. Lucky omen, yeah. Well, right. listen, good luck for next Thank Friday. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks you. for talking to me.